Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a WordPress website step by step using these simple guidelines. After this tutorial, you can build any professional websites you've ever seen on the internet or you've ever dreamed of and even make money creating a website as a freelancer. You don't need to have any sort of coding experience since we are going to build professional websites with WordPress drag and drop website plugin called Elementor which will also help you to customize your website fast and easy. Don't stress yourself with designs cause we are going to use some of the hundreds of free templates to speed up your work. And don't worry about mobile responsiveness because our website will be responsive on any mobile phone, desktop or tablet device. I will even show you how to create your own logo for free. This is the awesome and professional website we are going to make today. So. Whether you want to build your own website or you want to be a website designer, this is the best video you will ever find. My name is Benjamin Ananya Samoa. I am a freelance web designer and a mobile developer. So why WordPress but not any other site builder? WordPress is very popular. It covers over 30% of websites on the internet and easy to use content management system for building website. So. I'm going to use these five simple steps to build our website. So what is a domain name? A domain name is just a name of your website which represents your brand name on the internet. For example, like google.com. Step 1. Register your domain and web hosting. Click on the first link in the description below to get your domain and web hosting for 60% off. So after clicking on the link. We come to this page, we click on get started, we get three plans to choose from, the hatchling plan, the baby plan, and the business plan. So the business plan is mainly for websites that you have a lot of traffic, and the hatchling is for single domain, the baby and the business plan is for unlimited domains, and the hatchling plan is for single domain. I recommend we choose the baby plan. So you click on buy now. HostGator is giving you one year free domain. You select the domain name that you want to choose from. I'm going to use my client's domain for this training. I'm going to enter. After typing in here, it's going to search whether the domain is available. So as you can see, the domain is available. So it selects for us free for one year. Then we come down, domain privacy, add domain privacy. Very, very important. If you don't add this domain privacy, you're going to get a whole lot of emails and calls. They're trying to sell things to you. For example, they want to design your website for you, blah, 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 a whole lot. So I recommend you to click on that domain privacy. So let's go. The billing cycle is for the, the duration you want to host. Either you want one month, three months, six months, 12 months, 24 or 36. If you choose the one month, you will not get the free domain. Um, HostGator suggests you choose one year or more. So I suggest we choose the 12 month, at least for you to try out. So if you choose a 12 month, you get 50% off. If you choose the 36 month, you get 60% off. And the 24 to 54% off, 54.79 off. So I suggest we choose a 12 month. You fill in your username and security pin. So I don't want to bore you. I've already done this. So I'm just, you just fill in everything here. Then you get to this side, add additional services. You untick all this once. HostGator already gives you a free SSL that protects hackers from. So good, HostGator already gives us a free SSL that we don't really need to um, add this one to it. This one to just untick everything. So at the end of the day, our total amount is $92. So you agree to the terms and conditions. Then we go to checkout. So after a successful registration on HostGator, we get an email confirming our registration. So as you can see here, you have to copy these details, the login details, and put it at a safe place. So let's click on the first link. That takes us to HostGator portal to login. So we enter our email to login, click on next. So 
enter our password. Okay, we verify, and it takes us to our customer portal. So we've successfully logged into our HostGator dashboard. Step two, install WordPress. So we click on launch cPanel. So it takes us to cPanel. So this is my cPanel that we're going to install our WordPress. You look for WordPress installer, mostly at the popular links, or you search for WordPress on the set bar. You click on WordPress installer. So we're going to select the domain. Then we click on next. Then we enter the website title. So I'm entering my title. You enter your admin user and your first name and last name. Then you enter your user, your email address. You accept the terms of service. Then you click on install. So WordPress is installing. Installation complete. So what we need to do is we have to copy the installation details over here mainly the password because that is what we're going to use to log in into our main website we copy the installation details put it as a safe area i don't want us to use the login button here because that is not what we are going to use every time to log into our wordpress website so what we are going to do is i'm going to enter our website's dashboard manually. Let's check to see if our website is working. Our website is working perfectly. But before we get to this page, we have to wait for about 20 to 1 hour before our domain name can propagate to the internet. Because when you register a new domain, it takes about 20 minutes to 1 hour to get your website set up. But because I already have the domain purchased. I just come here straight and the website will be working. We are going to our, our WordPress dashboard. Click on, we enter WP admin. Then it takes us to the login page for our WordPress. You remember the details we copied for the WordPress. You enter it here. Then I paste in my password, click login. So WordPress is asking us whether the email we entered in is correct. That we want to verify whether that is the administrative password. So we click on the email is correct. Then it takes us to our dashboard. Perfect. So our website is working. So what I'm going to do is, there are so many things in here. What I'm going to do is click on X. X, X to close everything. We are going to deal with this one later. Okay. First things first, let's go and change our password from what HostGator generated for us. We click on users, click on all users. Then we come here. So we click on edit. This is how we can change our password. You can change your email in here. You can upload your picture. So this is where we generate our password. We click on generate password. We clear. Enter my own password. Okay, then I click on update profile. Nice, my password is changed. So over here, we can change the theme of our dashboard to suit what we like. I'll leave it to the default. Okay, next we go to settings and do one important change here. We click on post name. So we need to click on save changes. So let's go to our dashboard. Then let's disable some plugins. We don't need them now. I select all. Deactivate them. So we're going to delete all the plugins. You select delete. You click on apply. Okay. So step three, we install our website builder. 
add a, as a plugin. We click on add new. We set for Elementor. This is what we are looking for, Elementor Page Builder. We click on Install Now. Then we click on Activate. Okay, perfect. So we go back to Plugins again. Then we install another important plugin called Envato. We search for Envato. So this is what we are looking for. We click on install now. We activate. Envato element also consists of beautiful themes free themes which we can use and some widgets and blocks that we can use to edit our website step four let's install our theme we go to appearance so these are the themes that comes with wordpress so let's check out our website we click on visit site to see how our website looks right now so this is how our website looks let's go back to the themes so we are going to add our new theme which will make our website beautiful we click on add new theme so the theme we are looking for is called astra astra has a lot of features that can help us to build a very beautiful website we have so many themes in here you can use so you can go to popular and look for most some of the popular themes that are in here for example 2020 astra so this is what we are going to install. We have Hello Elementor for Elementor Builder. So we have a lot of them. We can, we even have a storefront where you can use it to build your e-commerce website. On our next coming tutorial, we're going to design an e-commerce website using WordPress. So let's go to Astra. Then we click on install. There are also latest templates. You can check it out. So all these are free for you to use. They come with their own structures, blocks, and widgets that you can use. So what I'm using is I just search for Astra. Click on install. Then we click on activate to activate the theme okay so let's check out how our website looks now click on visit site okay so as you can see there is a little change in here but we still see this hello world another sidebar here so what we want to do is we have to go back to our dashboard then create some pages we click on pages then we select all the pages here then we delete them we don't need them move to trash apply okay so we are starting from scratch we don't want to get any page in our website so what we have to do is click on add new okay so i'm going to add three pages to our website so I'm entering the home page so I'm naming it home so as you can see on our right side we have some settings we need to do so we have this post attributes and we have the Astra settings so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the Astra settings by clicking on it this is what I'm looking for page attributes what I need to do is click on default template, then select Elementor full width, then click on publish. Then we add another page, name it about us, change it to Elementor full width, click on publish. Then we add the last page which is contact us
change it to Elementor full width, click on publish. Let's check our pages. So we have three pages in here. Let's go out there and see how our website looks now. Okay, so you can see we have our menus over here. So when we go to a website, we don't want to have the menus arranged in alphabetical order. We want it to arrange it in the way we want. So what I'm going to do now is, so we are still having this, all these things here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the dashboard again. Then we go to appearance, go to menus. So we're going to create a new menu name. So my menu, then click on create. You can name it anyhow you want. Click on create menu. We want to use this menu structure to be our primary menu. So let's add these pages to our menu. Click on add to menu. Okay, so let's arrange it to how we want it. Then we select the primary menu, which we want it to be our main primary menu for the website. So let's click on save menu. Let's check out how our website looks. Visit site. Okay. So as you can see, our menus are in other. Okay. So when we click on home, this is how our home about us and contact us looks like. We want to tell WordPress that WordPress should use home as home page as our page to appear first. We don't need to change. We don't need to use this page here. So this looks like a blog page. We don't need to use this page. What we want to do is we want to tell WordPress to use home for our main website home page. So what we have to do is we click on customize. Then we go to home page settings down here. We select a static page. Under home page, we select home, click on publish to set our main home page to the home menu here. So as you can see, when we enter our website again, now we don't see the blog post and the sidebar. That's nice. So we are done setting up our home page. What we have to do is to edit the page and start building the website. So I click on edit page. So now what I have to do is to click on edit with Elementor. Then it will lead us to the Elementor builder to build our page. Okay, as you can see, this is the Elementor menu with a lot of widgets on it. So these are called widgets which builds your website. So we have a header we have the footer so in between is where we're going to create our website we can start by lifting any widget onto the section then it tends to be a widget so this is a text widget that we can start editing but I'm not going to start with that what I'm going to do is I can click on add new section and create select these two columns. So this is one column, two columns, three columns, four columns, and so on. So how you want your website to look like. So let me show you how it's going to look like. I click on two column section. And what I'm going to do is I can click on the plus or click on the dots here to bring the widgets, the menu widgets again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a text heading and write something like, I can double tap to enter my text directly. So pasting my text in here. After I'm done in here, what I'm going to do is I want to add another text. So this is, so this is a heading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another text over here in the same left column. You see, you can see left and right column. So we have two columns in. So this is a header and this is a text. So I can just start typing in something.
So we are building our website. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background color or image of this section so that it looks professional. So as we click on any of the widgets, this is text widget and this is the header widget. So as you can see, there is an icon here that says edit widget. If you hover on it, you can see edit text editor. I'm going to click here. If I click on it, edit text, edit heading, I can have some properties to edit on. For example, I can change it to heading one, which looks bigger. I can change the position, center, left, right. I'll leave it to left. And I can style it, change the color to black. I can even change the default font family. Let's say Arial or Tahoma. Let me use Roboto as an example. Okay, so as you can see, it changes the fonts family. So this is where you can, if you want to edit the text and change the styles of the text, all you need is to click on the edit button icon in here to change and edit the styles of the widget. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to edit the section. So if I want to have a properties of the section, what I need to do is, I mean the row. What I need to do is I need to click on edit section so that the properties will be listed in here. So everything that I do in this side will affect the whole section. So what happens is I'm going to make it full width. So if I make it full width, you see how it affects the whole widget inside the section. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make it in box. Then I'm going to change the background. So you see, this is a background and this is a background overlay. We'll talk about background overlay soon. So I'm going to click on background and click on classic. I'm going to use an image. So if you want to get images, I already uploaded some images into our website. So if you want to get some images, all you need to do is click on file, upload files, then select your file. But also we can get a lot of free images on Pixabay. You can get a lot of free images on pixabay.com. So what I did was I said for laptop. So these are a lot of examples, free images that you can use on your website. So let's see. So I already uploaded one in here. So that is what I'm going to select. So if you want to upload, just click on select file, then you upload. I already have it in here. So what I'm going to do, I'll select it and insert media. So as you can see, we have it inserted. So what we need to do is we have to change or edit the properties of the text so that it fits the color scheme of the section. So what I'll do is I'll change the text color to white. So what I do is when I click on the icon, we get the properties so I can change the color from here. So the text color appears, then I select white. So I'm going to do it for the text too. So I've done it for the heading. I'm going to do it for the text too, to style. To change the style to white. You can also change the, the size. As you can see, you can change the size. So you see how Elementor is so cool. It's so cool, we can edit it in any way that we want. Let me set it to, let's say, 24. Then you can change the width of the text. If you want strong or bold, you can change it to, you can, if you want thin. So we look, we look at how thin it comes, it becomes. So, so we can center, we can left align. If I see, I, if I click on the pencil icon here, I can change the style, I can change the transform, I can even make it uppercase, all of them, and try to fit, change the size. So what I'll do is I'll turn it back to default and make it 400. 
and change the size to 24. So you can work around it, try to see how you, you want your website to look by editing and changing some of the styles in here. So this is line height. You can change the line height. So I can clear to set before. I can also change the line spacing as I move the line spacing in here. I can also clear to set to default. Okay, so let's continue. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert an image in here. So when I click on the plus, it turns, we get our widget back again. Then I drag the image and put it. So as you can see, when I drag the image widget, if I put it here, it's going to appear here. If I want to move it here, I can also move it to this column. Okay, so I can click on the edit pencil to change the image. I can click on the edit icon to change the image. So I click on choose image. Then I choose one of my images. I put some of the images down so that you can follow along. Okay, as you can see, we have, we want to give a little pattern in between this section or this column and from the top to this section so we want to give some pattern it's so close what i'm going to do now is when i click on the edit column we have two columns this is one column and this is the left this is the left column and this is the right column so when i click on the left column the properties change then i can change the property what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the vertical align so that it's aligned perfectly with this. So when I click on middle, it aligns to the middle of the space. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the properties of the, the section again. I'm going to change the properties of the section. So what I do is I click on the six icon um, on the on the edit section icon. Then I click on advanced. So this is the pattern. The more I click, the more it opens. So we're going to set the pattern. The top, right, bottom, and left, they are all set. When I click on the up and down arrow, they all change equally. So if I want to, if I clear one of them, everything goes. If I enter the number, everything. So the top, the left and right, all turns to 50 pixel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect this two on link together. So what I'm going to do right now is I want to only set the pattern for the top and down and leave the left and right. So what I'm doing is 50 for the top, zero for right and zero for left. So as you can see, this is how it looks. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to put a color over it so we are done with the background image so as you can see the background image doesn't fit perfectly to our website or to the section so what i'm going to do is you see there is a cut in here so what i'm going to do for it to fit perfectly is going to click on side and click on cover so you see how nice it looks for it to fit perfectly so let's add some background overlay by clicking on background overlay then select the background so we can click on classic which turns to color when i click on the classic i just change it to red or i make it a gradient so i'm changing it to a gradient so that you can see how it looks so a gradient you make this blue so let's select blue then make this a little purple The type of the gradient is linear. You can make it gradient too. So I'll leave it to linear. You can even change the location. Look at how it looks. You can also set the location over here, the, the first location and the second location. So this is the blue location. So what I'm going to do is 
I can also set the angle. You see how it looks. So let's change the location of the second and see how it looks now. And change the arrow, the angle, and bring the first location. So you see how it looks. So if we set it to, let's set it to 50. So this is how it looks. We can also change the angle and even change the location. You can play around with these settings to, to see how it fits for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to 100, then set the angle like this. You can also change the blend mode to see how it looks. Overlay that in. So I'll leave it to normal and move on. Okay, so we've been able to edit our background image. So what about if we want to make in a style? We can also add this beautiful feature in here. So we are going to change the style of this line in here to, to make our website looks attractive and nice. So there is this feature called shape divider. So the shape divider can can give us some styles to change our background image. So what we are going to do is we want to change. We're going to use this feature called shape divider over here. If I click on mountains, so you see how it looks. But I don't want it to be on the top. I want it to be at the bottom mountains no set it to none so you see how beautiful it looks we can we can change it to jobs we can change it to clouds we can change it to any of them so what i'm going to do is let's check this one out so you see how it looks you can flip you can invert you can do anywhere you can even change it to clouds flip so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to mountains this is how I want it to be so it's so close to our text so what I'm going to do is I'm going to so we can play with the width to see how it looks so I'm going to leave it I'm going to clean to set default then what I'm going to do is I like the shape, this shape divider, the style, which is called mountains. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the padding again. I'm going to add some padding to make it. Okay. I'm going to add it to the bottom. Let's say 60. Okay. I'll just make it 120. Okay. So 120 looks better. Then I'll change the top padding to 80. I think we are on the right path. So what we can do is we can even change the background image from normal um, from an image to a gradient or a video if you have a video all you can do is you can set your video a youtube video we can put in our previous video so it can play behind as you can see whenever your website loads your video is going to play behind so as you can see, the video is playing behind. Okay, so let's move back to classic where we have the picture, then save it again, update. Let's look at how it's, our website is looking by clicking on preview changes. We are on the right track. That's so beautiful. Okay, let's move back. I can close it. Then I just wanted you to have an idea of how Elementor works. We have this widget that you can put in. So what I'm going to do is, I would like to add one section. Click on this section, two columns again. Then add an image. I have this beautiful image I have here. 
so as you can see this is the basic widget that you get and this is a pro widget that you have so we cannot drag it there because elementor has a pro version and i recommend you buy the pro version which will give you a lot of features like post portfolio forms very very important features or widgets that allows you to customize your website very well so i'll put a link in the description below so you can purchase the pro version in my next video i'm going to show you how to use the pro versions to make a different website so we have the general these are the pro versions and we have some of the widgets hidden here you can click on them to show so when you see a padlock it means you cannot use it because you have to get the pro so i'm going to search for progress bar i click on this progress bar and add it to this section but before that i'll click on this icon to get a heading so i want to let you know that we can build our website from scratch using the Elementor Builder without copying any theme. But we use the theme for faster web design. So what I'm doing is just giving you a structure to follow where you can build your website straight from scratch without using any theme. So I'll edit the image in here. I get my text just copy it then add another text okay i would like to reduce i like to edit the heading change the style the color to fit our website colors that is blue and some purple so i'm going to change the size of the the, the heading the letter spacing okay so let's edit the text too so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to duplicate my scale three times okay so i'm going to edit my scale so i'll click on the edit then change it to web design then increase the percentage I won't enter any text here because I don't want any text to appear in the bar then I'll change the text the bar color to success then I'll edit the second one to Then change the color to woman and increase the percentage to something like this. Then clear the text, the inner text. We do the same for the third one. Okay, do it for the third one. Then we change it to logo design so i'm going to change the color to danger okay so we are done with the second section what we want to do now is i want to increase the pattern of this section i go to advance and i enter let's make it 70 pixel okay then 70 pixel is cool. Okay. So we are done with this section. Let's add another section. We, we, we add another section. I'm going to use just one column. So we are entering one column where we're going to add a text. So we drag the heading into this side. then also go back click on this drag the text editor i'm going to change the heading 
into another text I typed, then center it, then go to style. So what I'm going to do is I want to edit the background of the section. Let's go to style, then select gradient, select our favorite color. So let's work on the pattern, the top and bottom pattern. So let's enter like 60, bottom 60. Okay, let me go for 120 and 120. Okay, I think it's cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text color, this text color, the heading text color, to white so we can see it well then change the typography then increase the size we can change the font family to anything we want let's real way okay so yeah, we reduce it to fit well then we come back to the text editor go to the style then we change the color to to white let's make some changes with the typography try to increase the text not very big so center our text and I will try and edit the background so we want to change the position of the the colors. Okay, this is cool. So let's continue. We're going to add another section. By this time, we're going to make it three columns. We're going to add the image box. So let's see what the image box comes with. So we drag and drop into it duplicates okay let's work on this one first so I'm going to edit it I change the image so I have some images I've up already uploaded so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to select the images then change the width to 100 percent so now as you can see, I've changed it to 100%. I can duplicate it three times. Duplicate it again. Move it to the third place. Then I can change the images individually. So as you can see, it's 1366 by 860. If you are changing the images, they should all have the same size to fit in. So as you can see, I've changed it. Let's change the third image, this one to the same. Okay, so beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I want I want this section to occupy some of the space of this section. So what I'll do is we have to edit the margin. So we edit the section, click on advance, then we go to margin. So let's give some margin. 100. Okay. So when we enter positive margin, what it happens is it's going to give a margin from this section down. That's 100 pixels from the top and 100 pixels from the bottom. But we don't want positive. We want it to be in negative. So what we do is we have to put minus in here. It enters into this, this section. Okay. We are good to go. What I'll do is I'll increase the size of the section making it making it 130 and 150 okay I think this is cool okay so make sure you save it anytime you edit something please save it because if you don't save it it won't appear on the front page so we click on preview to see our changes. 
Wow, our website is working perfect. You can see that we are having a negative pattern in here. That's why we can't see the end of the text. So what we do, we go back, then we edit the section at the advanced side, and we make it zero. So before we can remove this, I have to unlink this. So what I do is I'll clear this, make it zero. So when we save, when we update it, and we go to our website, automatically it reloads. So now we can see the end of the text. So let's move on. I would like to have some shadow and background color so that we can differentiate this from this. I want us to have a nice shadow on all this section. So what I'll do is I'll go back and go to this, edit the image box. Then if you come to the style, so we can edit the text in here, you can type in anything. So I'll leave it to the default. Okay, so we can align either to right and left or to center. We can change the link if we if we want to make it a link. All we need to do is, for example, if you want to make sure when we click on this image box, it will take us to our contact us page. I can enter. So let's save and see what happens. So now the mouse cursor changes from pointer to the hand tool. When we hover on this, it changes to pointer because this is the only one that consists of a link. So let's go back here, go down, hover on it. So when we click on it, it takes us to the contact page. Okay, that's nice. So we can do it for all this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have some border and some shadow around the the box image section and go to border then we make it one pixel so when we click on this pen icon we can change the color from black to white or red so as you can see when i put it on the this side it changes to red so what i'll do is i'll select a little grayish i'll select this color so we can see some shadow around this image box. So we can we can adjust the spread as you can see here. So we will leave it to two. So we will update and check out how our website is looking. Nice. It looks perfect. So what I did was I copied the shadow effects of this one to the other two to have the same effect. So you can see some border and some shadow on image box. So I'll add another section on column. I want to show you how to add a video to our website. So I'll pick this video widget here and fix in here. Elementor is giving us an, a default video which we can change it over here. So at the end of the day, you can if you want to put a video on your website, this is coming from YouTube. You can select one from Vimeo, you can select the other from Daily Motion, and you can select the other from a self-hosted. Let's say you have it on your, your hosting, you can link it using the URL. Or you can choose the, the file from Media Library. So I'm going to use YouTube and copy my link, then put my link over here. Okay, what about if we want to make it small? So what we do is we edit the video section, we go to advance, then we set pattern so it gives pattern around the video which will squeeze the video size 
so let's say I would like to leave it to around 50 pixel then I add in another section so I click on three column section I would like us to add number counter so let's click on the plus icon then we set for counter so when you go to some of the websites what you see is you have some counters like this let's say the project they've done the awards they have and the countries they serve a whole lot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this text to project executed so simple then we change the number let's say we've executed over 560 okay let me use 1500 okay the project executed didn't work so let's go and edit it here let me paste it at the text side so project executed nicely what about if it is not exactly 1560 but maybe i like to say 1560 plus so i can add a plus to it by clicking on the suffix so as you can see that is the plus that we just added you can also change the start number from let's say want you to start from thousand so instead of starting from zero it will start from thousand so let's update so what i'm going to do is i guess want to copy or duplicate it take it to this side duplicate it so i'll change this figure here so let's say we want to change this one we want to make this one happy client so what we do is i'll click on the pencil icon then change it to happy client then change the number from 1005 to let's say over 150 let's say over to 120 and we are going to edit the third column by clicking on the pen icon then change it we've had some awards let's say we have over we have five awards so i'm not going to add a plus to it all i'll do is i'll remove the plus five is too small let me say 15. so let me switch it from okay that's looking good so i'm going to add a background to this side so that our website looks nicer but first of all what i want to do is i want to add a background to this section the video section so i click on edit section go to style go to the background and select the classic i have an image i've already uploaded insert image okay so after adding the image we are done and i move to the counter section i'll add a background i'll click on the classic here i'm not going to use an image i'm going to use a color i'm going to get only one color which i can choose from the colors in here so i'll choose a color and as you can see this looks so small so we're going to add a pattern by clicking on the edit section again going to advance to add some pattern okay so as you can see pattern is inside margin it's outside so if we used the margin it was going to push the section away from the other section but if you use pattern it's going to it's going to give a space in between the section itself so i'll edit the counter then change the color from this bluish to white then go to the title change the text color to white that's beautiful let's do it to the other counter numbers
okay so we are done i like to add some shape divider to make this side look a little nicer so i'm going to edit the section again and go to style then add a shape divider at the top and the bottom so what i'm going to select is i'm going to select the tilt opacity so as you can see we can increase the heights we can increase the height like this let's remove it we can flip it to the other side so i'm going to flip it to this side then bring it a little down okay i'm not going to use the height again then i go to the bottom and do the same thing so you can use your own styles this is just teaching you how to use the shape divider so i don't want it to be at this side i would like to flip it to this side so that we have a uniform nice looking shape divider so i'll advise you to update or else whatever we've done here won't appear on the home page so we are building our site let's continue so we are going to add one last thing here so that we can add a footer and we add our footer to make our home page complete so i'll click on the section add new section then insert one column so what i'm going to add here is i'm just going to i'm going to show you how to add gallery so i i click on the plus so we have image here and we have gallery here so i'll minimize the pro and look for basic gallery i'll lift the basic gallery and insert it into our section so what you need to do is after importing the widget go and insert your image at the edit section side so you click on the images that you want to choose so one two three four five six let me take one out okay okay so we have six images i'll click on create a new gallery so we have six images here then insert gallery so let's check it out okay we have four columns i would like to change it from four columns to three columns you select the column side and make it three then we change the image size to four okay so you see the image sizes increases okay so let's save it or update so i'm going to add a text header here i'll click on this icon we drag the text header widgets up here then i write something like recent project so what i would like to do is i'll center it go to our style change the typography let's say change the color first then you increase the size then we transform it to uppercase we can also add a divider to divide the header from the images so let's check it out let's set for divider so that's a horizontal line that can this divide the text from the image so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the width then center it reduce the width a little 20 percent i think it's cool 20 percent then you can either make it double or dotted but i'm going to leave it to solid it's nice let's update our website so we want to preview to check how it looks so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the preview changes here and it opens another tab for us to see how our website looks nice our website looks very very beautiful that's so cute so the last thing i'm going to do is 
I'm going to add a footer. But before I add a footer, I want to add a button here so that when someone clicks on it, it will lead the person to another page. So I'm going to show you how to add images on top of each other. So let's go back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the image. I have some images that I'm going to use. So I'm going to start with this image. Insert the media. So this is just some dotted transparent image. As you can see. So I make it full. This looks relative now. So if I want to drag another image on top. If I want to drag another image on top, you see it's trying to move to either the top or the down. So what I'm going to do is let's add the image, add the second image. Okay, so it's what I want to do is I want to add the image on top of this one. So what I'll do is I'll just edit it and make it absolute. So I click on the pen icon then go to advance then change the position and make it absolute you can see that our image can be can be lifted to anywhere so i'll just add in here so i'm going to duplicate this image i'm going to duplicate this image then change it again I'll add another image on top of it then add another image again I'm going to duplicate it again then change it to a different image so beautiful so you can see so I have four images on top of each other okay so let's save it and see how it looks Let's click on preview changes. So the tab is already opened. So perfect. Our website, our homepage is almost done. I'd like to rotate these dotted images around this image over here. So what I'm going to do is I'll go back, then click on the, the stars image I think it's not selected. No. It's coming hard to sell it. Okay. I think we selected that one. Okay, that's what we selected. So I'm what I would like to do is I'm going to add an animation. So whenever our website loads, it rotates the image around, it rotates around this image. So I'm, I'll click on the image that I would like to rotate, then go to motion effect. Then I select the image, I select the effect that I want. So I'll set for rotate, then click on it. So as we can see, the image rotates anytime we open the website. So I'm going to save it and go to our website again. So we are done for our home page. So what I'm going to add here, I thought of adding a footer, but I don't need a footer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a contact form here, then our address on the right side. So let's insert a section so i click on two columns but before that what i would like us to do is let's save it first then go back and insert a contact form plugin so if you want to go back to the dashboard we have to update everything that we've done click on this icon then click on exit dashboard so it takes us back to our home page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the plugins, then install a contact form plugin. 
so i'll click on add new then search for wp forms okay so that is the first one over here wp forms so i'll click on install now then activate it so our form plugin is ready so let's go to wp forms then we click on add new form so we are adding a new form we will call it contact form or let's say contact us so we are just going to click on create simple contact form so when we clicked on create simple contact form it gives us a default contact us form that we're going to use what about if we want the person to enter her or her phone number we can just come to this side and drag a phone number on top so we get a phone number text box if i want to change the text over here from comment or message i'll just make it i'll just remove the comment or message and just make it message number i can make it phone and if you want it to be required you can make it required so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save then we go to settings so in the settings the form name is contact us we leave the description and we leave all these ones then we enable anti-spam on the spot so let's check on notifications so the notification is is going to send to the admin email so you can remove this one and enter another email that you want to receive the messages that you want to receive from the contact form so i'll leave this to the admin email so this is an email whenever you get an email from someone in your message you will see let's say if i enter my email in here that's been wait so whenever someone use the contact form i'll get a message in my gmail or my email saying that someone has you have a new entry that's contact form from this is your website then it's from so we're not going to touch anything here we're just going to click on save then we go back to we click on close and we go back to our dashboard then we go to our website again and edit it so let's use edits with Elementor so what I'm going to do is so we're going to add in a section here and we're going to make it two columns so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the form on the left and we're going to put a contact text on the right what I would like to do is I like to insert the WP form here I'll click on the plus then set for form so we see WP form here then we drag it into the section into the column then we select the form that we created click on contact us so as you can see it doesn't really look nicely here but don't worry about that when we update and go to the main page it won't look exactly like this again so let's save update then check the change the background so i'll edit the section and bring in a background so let's add a background so i have another image i brought in here so this is my image i'll try and add a padding i'll try and add a pattern so that we can get lot of height for our form and our text so i'm going to enter 100 i think 100 is cool i'm going to bring in a heading text which will say get in touch with us or send us a message okay so i'm going to change the text color to white then transform it to uppercase then we change the text size 
think four three should be okay so i click on update so let's see how our website looks at the back end let's put a background overlay i'll click on the edit section then add the background overlay today i'm not going to use a gradient but i'll use a classic color only one color selecting a deep blue so we still see the color halfway so it means the opacity has been reduced so we have to if you want to show more color you have to increase the opacity but we want to see the image at the background so i'll bring it down a little okay then let's update and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a text in here a contact information here so i'll click on add then bring in a text and add some text editors so this is a heading and these are text and i'll change the text to contact so i'll duplicate this one and make it give us a call then enter any number in here let's change the colors so i'll make this color white then increase the the font size i'll edit this give us a call to i'll change the color to white and i'm going to make the font width thin and decrease the size of the text so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring in a little purple, or oh, let's make it grey, then increase the size of the text, then change the width, let's say 800, okay, so I'm going to duplicate the heading, bring it down, and write email, send us an email then i'll duplicate this one too bring it down and change it to our email address okay so the last one we're going to do is i'm going to duplicate it again and drag it down so we're going to make this one main office address so that's our address we copy and paste we duplicate it then we enter the address in here what about if i want to add in some social icons i can go back look for social okay so beautiful if i click on it i can see the links in here if you want to make it lead to your facebook page what are you going to do is you enter your link in here so for example like i'll make it short facebook.com slash So if I want to do it for the Twitter too, I can do the same. I click on the Twitter. Then I paste in the Twitter. YouTube. Then I paste in the YouTube. So let's update it and see how it looks on our page. So preview changes on our homepage. Let's go down to see how it looks. Okay, that's cool but we want the contact information to move to the right then we want to have a background color for the contact form then move it up a little then push the contact information here to the right and make these icons align perfectly to the text in here so let's go and do that so what i'll do is i'm going to edit this side so I want it to move up. That's a style that I would like to show you. 
want it to move up so what i'll do is i'll just change click on this the i um the column icon here then we go to advance then start changing the margin but we don't want to use the margin for all so what i'll do is i'll clear it and unlink it so what i'm doing is i'm using i'm only working on the top margin so i'm pulling it up like this okay so that is okay so what i'm going to do is i'll bring in a background so that we can see the even if it goes up so we want to blend the form contact form with our background over here so on the same side i'll click on the style then check the background we are the background so we change it to background type we select the classic and we change it to white so as you can see this is our text let's change the text to the color of the text to let's say blue okay so we can see our text now then let's give a curve at this side and this side and give some shadow feature over here so that it can blend well and i'm going to add a padding inside here click and advance so 100 is too much so as you can see it fits in perfectly let's use 50 so don't worry about the way it's looking here when we update and we go to our website you see it's fit it fits perfectly in here so let's so you see how it's working as you can see we have a, a big space in here so what we're going to do is we are going to select the edit column again so as you can see if you want to move this side up all we need to do is increase it's in the positive okay so this is negative 158 and this is positive 158 so let's save it again let's add a pattern inside this container so i go to advanced then add a pattern of 40 let's use 80 okay so what i'm going to do is i would like to move this one to up a little so it's the same thing by using the the margin but if i do this it moves everything so i'll unlink it first of all i'll link it and clear then i'll link then go to the negative direction okay so 150 is okay let me say let me go to 140 okay so let's save and let's align our social icon to the left align it to left then we save and let's add our border radius down here so i click on the edit column icon and we go back to the style then we click on border so as you can see there is a border type in here what i'll do is i'll add in a solid border then we change the color to gray then we make a border radius of 10. so as you can see it adds some nice curves in here so let's add in the shadow box shadow we click on the box shadow so i hope you can see this one here so there is a shadow in here we don't want the black let's use the white okay so perfect so what we are going to do is we want to de decrease the blurness i think five is okay then the spread I think two or one i think zero is okay for the spread okay so let's go up we still see white over here so what i'm going to do is 
I like to go back to the solid then change it to black so we forgot to add the border pixel so we have to add either one pixel up in here so we can see we have a border in here so what we're going to do is we're going to change the color from black to gray okay so our contact form looks nice now let's update and see how it looks perfect i would like to change the footer color from black to let's say blue so we are done with our home page what we do is we click on this side this icon and we click exit to dashboard so we close everything here so let's go to the home page again and we click on customize so we click on customize to edit the footer so there are some settings that we need to do in here to complete the home page so as you can see we can edit the logo in here we can also edit the footer so we're going to remove the powered by astra theme from here so all you need to do is go to footer go to footer bar you can change the style from the center to the left align so that your copyright will be on the left and menus will be on your right i'm going to leave it on the center since we don't deal with a lot of menus so this is where you remove the powered by by just clearing it from here so if i want to change the site title what i need to do is let's say oj so something like this and you can add all right reserved then we publish it so it looks perfect now so we can see a white line in here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color first so let's change the background from black to blue so i think this color is okay then let's try and remove the border color so this is a border color we can select a border color by choosing another color in here but what i would like to do is i'll remove it by just entering zero so that we don't have any border color so i think everything is cool okay so let's move on so let's publish it then we go back if you want to bring in a footer widget in here what we would have done is we could have clicked on the layout so when we click on layout let's see what we get in here so this is what we could have gotten but because we are not using the footer widget area I don't choose that one so I just publish it then go back let's do some settings very important settings in here too so we click on global this is where you can change every font that you want how your font you want your font to be on the website the headers and everything and the contents and the text how you want it to look like you can go through to see how it's it works okay so we are done let's close it and our home page is set looking so beautiful so we went from scratch and generated this so when we go to about us we don't have anything on about us so what we're going to do is we are going to use the plugin that we downloaded to generate some themes for us for our page we don't want to do it from scratch again so i just showed you how elemental works so that you can work from scratch so we went from scratch without a theme so i'm going to show you how to change your logo from this text logo to a more professional logo so let's go to header 
go to site identity then you select your logo from your images so i have a professional logo here that i made with canva i'm going to put the link in the description below to create your own logo you can learn how to create a logo for free on my previous tutorial if you want a professional logo where you don't want to create i'll put a link this in the description below so you can get a professional logo for just five dollars at fiverr.com so as i upload the logo i still get a text logo attached to it so what i can do is i will remove this the site title i would like to get a site icon here that's our fav icon so i'll select my site icon import my site icon so it should be a transparent square logo so as you can see i select my site icon click on select skip cropping then i have my site icon so the site icon is the fav icon the logo that you see on the top left of your of your browser we can publish it now so now we have our logo and we have our fav icon or sites logo so we will change the tagline we can clear the tagline and leave it empty the tagline is used for describing more of your website so when we click publish we will see it's been attached here so I'm going to clear the tagline and leave it empty. Then publish our website. I can make the header transparent so that it fits in with the image over here. So what I'll do is under transparent header, I can enable a complete website. Beautiful. So this is how your logo looks like. So what I'm going to do is because my logo is black and red, I'm not going to use the transparent background. So I will untick and go back and get my white background. Publish it again. So our website is looking okay. Let's go to our about us page to import a free theme to fill it in. So I click on edit page. For us to import a, a theme in here, what I'm going to do is we'll go to elements so that was the Invento plugin that we installed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to accept agree the terms and condition i'm not going to take this i don't want any promo emails from them so i'll go to continue so Invento element gives us a lot of free themes that they've already built that you can import it into your page so you can import any of these themes into your page directly without creating it from scratch so that's cool so let's go to our about us page let's go to pages then go to about us page we click we click on edit with elementor if edit with elementor is not showing here you see it over here you can click on it mine is showing here you click on edit with elementor so we are back to our about us page we're going to import our content here so after installing the Invanto plugin and activating it what we get is we get another green button here which is called Invanto element that we can click on to see what it gives us so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install one of these pages onto our website I'll click on the search bar then click on corporate business then filter the, if you love the premium templates you can choose one of them but for the purpose of this video we are only using the free themes it filters and gives us the corporate themes you can choose you can select from any of them it doesn't really matter about the name all you need is choose from whatever you want so you can select and check from any of them so what i'm going to do is i'll click on professional services and check the theme if i love it so we get a lot of 
pages created already for us so if i didn't want to create my home page from scratch i could have imported one of these pages directly into my page so i'm just going to import only the about us page so what i'll do is i'll click on this about page and see how it looks if you are happy with it you just click on import template i've already imported the template so mine is already showing open template in library if you go to blocks you can also you can also import some blocks for example like team you can import some free blocks in here so we have the pro ones and the free ones so if you are using elemental pro you'll be able to get all this all this for free so i'll put a link in the description below to get your elemental pro okay so let's go back to templates so what i do is because i have already imported my about us page i'll close this pop-up then i click on add template so whatever you import from Invento elements you are going to see them here add template so at this section elemental also has its own themes already built for us to use so as you saw in Invento elements we have the same thing here that we can also use so as you can see we have about us page here if we like it we can just click on it you can click on it to view how it looks so beautiful so i've already used the Invento, so i'll not bother myself again i'll go to my template so this is the professional service that i imported so well all i need to do is i click on insert i click on yes then it imports the whole page from Invento elements into our page so you see that so simple so what i need to do now is to click on update and do any changes that i would like to do over here i can make changes to these images i can make changes to these images so i can upload my own image i click on it i click on insert media so beautiful so you can edit all this like the way we did on our home page edit anything that you want to do over here you can change this one by clicking on the top the pen tool to say over a 180 so as you can see all these things can be changed i can change the background here page is correct so I can also change the colors in here then the opacity then click on update so you can see the page menu is not appearing we want to add the page menu then import our footer contact form from the home page I'll go back I'll exit to dashboard and go back go to pages first of all what I want to do is I want to save the home page footer contact form so that we can reuse on any of the pages that we want i'll click on edit section and right click then save as template contact form footer i click on save it adds up to the about us page we had here we save this widget as a template that we can use for any other page so let's go back to our about us page to check it out i'll go in change the page attribute from elemental canvas to elemental full width so that is if i change this from elemental full width it's going to bring the menu back so let's update it then check our page out so let's click on edit with elemental very beautiful now we have our menu bar in here so you can you can play around with all this text like the way we did on our home page okay 
so now our menu is back i'm going to bring in our footer so what i'll do is i click on the add templates then we go to my templates so i'm just going to insert the contact form footer and it will appear in direct let's click on yes our template is ready so as you can see we've managed to import our footer into the about us page so you see how elementor is so great i love elementor so much so cool so let's preview the changes and see how it looks so this is our about us page looking perfect wow that's nice so let's work on the contact us page too what i'm going to do is i'll click on edit page then we edit with elemental so we are going to import a contact form to from Invanto element i click on Invanto element then go set for a contact form so i'll go to the corporate and business i'll look for my professional service again then search for a contact form it might not necessarily be on the same professional service template package i can choose it from any other template to fit in perfectly so what i'll do is i'll choose one of these okay so i'm going to use this contact form too so I'll click on import template, then we close it. I hope now you know where it is found. Our saved themes are installed in this folder, our template. We go to my template. So this is the professional service contact form two that we saved. So all I need to do is I click on insert then I click on yes. So our contact form is installed perfectly. I'm going to add a form in here without creating another form here. So I'm going to just add in the form. Click on add template again, then click on insert contact form. So perfect. So our contact form is done. We can clear this and write contact as so we are done with our contact us page so our about us page is working home page is also working and everything looks perfect now so the last thing i'm going to do is i want to insert a button in here so that when we click on it it will take us directly to our contact us page so i'll click on edit with elementor that's we wherever we are we can click on edit with elementor and it will go directly and edit it for us so in here i'm going to drag this button so we click on edit button edit section so if you want to add an icon to it you can just select an icon insert an icon so as you can see i've been able to insert an icon i can change it from the icon position before to after so if you wanted to link to our contact form all we need to do is to copy the contact link and paste it here click on update so we can select the type either info success warning or danger but we can edit it manually by going to the style and changing the background color to okay so I think the blue will be fine then border type you can make it solid you can bring in a border then we set the pixel to one then change the color, border color let's say light blue then we can we can make it circular button by 
working on the border radius so as you can see so as you can see in here i've made it circular by working on the border radius so this is how our button looks like now so we are all set and done on our website let's check how it looks like on mobile and tablet so if you want to check how it looks like on mobile and tablet all you need to do is you come down here you click on responsive mode then you click on mobile to see how it looks on mobile so you see how perfect it looks you can scroll down to see how you want it to be okay so in case you see anything weird with the, 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 the font sizes in mobile we can edit it individually in mobile so what i i'll do is because i've selected the mobile i can edit it to fit the mobile directly so when i click on edit the pencil icon and click on edit i'll go to the style and go to typography so we are working only on the mobile not on the desktop too so anything that we change here will affect only the mobile so i will work around the size so i think it's perfect i click on this one let's bring let's make it a little big okay so let me work on this i was title too okay let's work on the client number i think it looks perfect now then i click on save updates so this looks okay so anything that i do here will affect only the mobile if i want to change the, the size of this too i'll do the same so i think everything is cool that looks perfect on the mobile let's check the tablet so this is how it looks on tablet everything looks so smooth and nicely organized okay so we don't have any problem with our website on mobile and tablet okay so for one last thing i would like to show you one important configuration you need to do so when we go to our website we see our website not to be secured so we need to add we need to add https to it right now it is it's only showing http so you need to solve the issue of not secured so what we do is we go to the dashboard then we click on settings we go to general so all you need to do is add s to the http to make https all i need to do is click on save changes so when i click on save changes it's going to log you out and you have to log in again so make sure you have your username and password known so click on save changes so as you can see we've been logged out we need to log in again okay so we've resolved the not secured issue so now our website is our connection is secure when we go back to our home page we can see that our website is now secured so coming up i'm going to work on more elemental videos how to create a woocommerce website so if you want to be a website designer all you need is to follow me Please click on the subscribe button and like this video if you enjoyed watching this video.